is up everyone? Connor Fairbrask from Kitchener Ford with another exciting video. Today's video is actually on a very exciting new pony car. This is a 2021 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. This has the performance package and a handling package on it. So 332 horsepower, 350 pound-feet of torque out of a 2.3 EcoBoost twin scroll four cylinder Mustang. Let's get on the highway. Of course, follow those rules, but give a little bit of gas up to 100. Oh, I love that transmission. So this one has the 10 speed automatic transmission, which I think is awesome. I have a 2017 Focus RS myself, which has a very, very similar engine to this EcoBoost, but my car has a six speed manual transmission. So this car, it, it would be a lot of fun with that six speed, but I do feel the 10 speed makes it a lot of fun as well. Cause you do have paddle shifters on it. You can put it in sport mode, go through different drive modes and change through those gears with, I gotta be honest, which the 10 speed transmission is really, really snappy. It builds a great amount of power as you go through each gear. It's just a lot of fun. Like I mentioned, this has the 2.3 liter EcoBoost, very, very similar to my Focus RS. So let's jump under the hood and explain what is new on the performance package. So, like I mentioned, this has the 2.3 EcoBoost, the high performance package on. So it's a little bit different than the regular non high performance package two threes. So this is very, very similar to the Focus RS like in my car, but with this, it's got a larger twin scroll turbo side compressor. It's also got a bigger radiator as well as of course the active exhaust system. So with all that mixed together, a little bit of a different tune on it, you get 332 horsepower and 350 pound feet of torque. Now under the hood here, I also want to mention, like talked about with the handling package, you do have your front strut bar as well. So if you don't know what that does, that basically just kind of tightens up the front of the vehicle. Uh, it gives a little bit better handling. It kind of makes it all stiffer because when you're going around the track, these things kind of bend. There's a little bit of give in them. This stiffens up the top of them as well. Now let's head to the back and we'll talk about what's different. Now at the back of the Mustang, there's not a whole lot that has really changed with it getting the EcoBoost performance and the handling package. Really, it's gonna be the 19 by nine and a half inch wheels. Now with those 19 by nine inch wheels, you're also going to get, you get Pirelli P0 Corsa wheels. So 265, 40 are 19s. Now it's a 98Y summer tire. So definitely do not use these in the winter. Just driving around the lot is okay, but I wouldn't recommend driving it too crazy. Now, like I said, it does have the active valve exhaust. So you've got a quad tip. Looks really, really mean from the back here. I gotta say I like it in white here. You do have the rear diffuser. Now with the active valve, like I said, you've got the valved exhaust. So you can change the valve around. So based on your drive mode, you can liven it up. Make it a little bit more throaty or you can also make it quiet as well. With the EcoBoost Performance Package, you do get a different rear spoiler here. This is more of a lower kind of deck lid, small riser, and you can kind of see it is gray in color. It's a little bit of a cool contrast. It's very, very similar to the rims. Now let's get out of the cold and let's get into the interior. These new Mustangs bring in a lot of electronics. A couple of the things that get included in it are going to be different drive modes. You've got different steering control modes. Now this one, as it is the performance package, it does have the active valve exhaust on it. So you are able to change the valving of the exhaust. So you can have a little bit of quiet mode, sport mode, drag mode, or sorry, track mode. And it really wakes it up. It sounds very, very similar to my Focus RS, but as in a stock exhaust, I'm quite impressed with it. It does sound very good. It does have a couple pops, uh, but nothing as aggressive as my Focus RS does, but it's still a lot of fun to drive and it sounds great. It does handle and ride very, very well as well. It does have the Magna Ride suspension on it in the handling package. So it does change the ride. You can change how it feels with the drive modes as well, but highway cruise and city driving, it feels really, really good. I quite enjoy driving this car. 
So with this Mustang being the premium package or the 201A package, you get the full leather interior, nice leather wrap steering wheel. This is heated. This car does have the Recaro seats, so it doesn't come with heated seats, unfortunately. Um, but if you get the premium package without heated seats, it will come with heated and cooled seats as well. So full leather interior, power windows, power door locks, automatic lights, fog lights, all that nice stuff as well too. Those pal shifters I was telling you about on both sides, course you're going to have your lane keep on this one on this turn signal indicator because this car has the ford safe and smart package so blind spot on the mirrors you can kind of see in the corner there your lane keep your forward collision this car because it's got the 10 speed transmission it does have adaptive cruise control which you can see on the steering wheel right here so you can set your cruise you can set the space from the front of the car to the back of the vehicle you're following and kind of change that gap overall too now nice thing with this one being the premium package is this guy right here this is a digital display so you can change the look of that with these fighter jet style gauges or sorry yeah switches right down here so each time i flick this up it will change the look of it so as i go through it for example this is sport if i go over to your snow and wet or normal it's going to change the look so it'll give you your your tack and your rpms uh, and your speedo sorry now if i click that again you can go over to like your sport plus it's going to change the look of it give you more of a rpm um, kind of bar instead of the gauge and if i go over to track or drag it's going to change the look of it as well now you can see of course use only in track purposes now you've got your speedo so we're in kilometers here in kitchener ontario now as i go through the rpms here you can see that it goes through different blues all the way up to the red line it looks really really cool i think it's an awesome touch on the premium package now um with these modes as well you are going to have a different steering modes down here too so you got your traction control on the left and you've got your steering modes here on the right of that so each time you click that it will go through different um steering modes depending on the drive mode you're in now premium package of course you got your eight inch touchscreen this is 3.4 sync 3.4 so navigation your apple carplay android auto all that good stuff too tap on nav you're going to have your full eight inch display there too so again if you've got your iphone or android you've got your usb right on the bottom there so you can plug it in and this takes over as apple carplay thank you for tuning in everyone to another review on a 2021 ford vehicle my name is Connor Fairbrass. If you liked the video, please drop a like, drop a comment, and maybe a subscription if you want to see more videos. I tried changing this one up. I did a little bit of a different style for the review and video. Let me know what you think down below. We'll see you on the next one.